Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Tech Showdown. I'm still sick, but I seem to be getting better, so that's good. This is my co-host Teddy, and today I'm bringing you a really high-end graphics card unboxing. It's this guy right here. The ASUS ROG Strix GTX 1080 Ti. So yeah, this is a very, very high-end graphics card. Um, pretty much going to be useless for anybody gaming at 1080p, uh, but for those 1440p and 4K gamers or multi-monitor gamers, it's going to be very good for you guys. So let's jump straight into it then. Uh, we'll open up this side. So yeah, uh, I've been looking to do this card for a while, but I haven't really had anything to uh, show down it against until now. I did the uh, Titan XP 2017 unboxing the other day. So, I'm sure you can put two and two together. Oh, here we are. Get it out of the box. Nice. Let's open it up here. Whoa. Just the manual inside, I would imagine. Yep. Oh, put this down, have a quick look. So, yeah, uh, I've been looking forward to doing this, and it'll be a really exciting showdown, because I actually don't know which one is going to win. So, inside here, we just get a driver CD, you would hope someone buying graphics card this expensive will be an enthusiast and know how to download GeForce Experience or just go on NVIDIA's website and download drivers and a manual where you'd also expect them to know how uh, to install a graphics card. But I suppose you never know. So let's get the card itself out. So oh, look in here. We have some more accessories down the bottom here. Uh, we have some Velcro straps that'll be for a cable management, and we have a uh, this is just a six pin to eight pin a power adapter. I'm guessing because this graphics card will run uh, two eight pin uh, power connectors. Power will require two eight pin power adapters. Um, so yeah, that that'll make it easier for those people out there. Although most power supplies these days, I mean, you should be fine. So I doubt it's a big deal. All right. Let's get the graphics card out. Uh, here we go. And boy, this thing is big. Of course, I expected it being a 1080 Ti. Uh, get you out of this noisy plastic here. Oh, very, very nice indeed. Oh, I'll get the right way up for you guys. There we go. Mmm, very nice. Very good looking graphics card. Oh, look at that back. You guys love this, don't you, when I take this plastic off? Let's pull it off you guys right here. Uh, where should we start? It's always fun trying to get this plastic off the back because I never know where to start pulling it up from. Oh, I got it. Here we go. Whoa. Boom, and off it comes. Thank goodness. That took much longer than I thought it would. <laughs> Alrighty then. Now let's talk about the uh, GPU you get with this guy, if you do not know. So it's coming with the uh, GP102 GPU. That's a 16 nanometer design with 3,584 CUDA cores. It's coming with 224 texture units, 88 ROPs, and a base clock of 1,594 megahertz and a boost clock of 1,708 megahertz in its OC mode. But it does feature GPU Boost 3.0. So I would imagine that would be over 2000 megahertz, just based off my own experience with these graphics cards. I would imagine this thing will sit about 2050, maybe even a little bit more, but we'll see once we start testing it. Now, as far as uh, power goes, it's coming with a 250 watt TDP. That's the same as what you get on a 1080, uh, I'm sorry, not a 1080, a 980 Ti and a Titan XP, so same amount. Uh, they recommend a power supply of 600 watts, although that's usually way too much for crowds like this, um, or they recommend higher than you actually need. It's coming with a thermal limit of 91 degrees, and memory-wise, it's coming with 11 gigabytes of GDDR5X at 11.1 .1 gigabits per second on a 352-bit bus in its OC mode. That's pretty good, that's faster than the uh, 10 gigabits per second you get on a GTX 1080, so it's more memory and it's faster memory on the 1080 Ti. So let's talk about this cooler then, because it is quite big and it's very beastly. So first thing to note is this thing has huge copper, uh, copper, I'm sorry, aluminium heat sinks. 
very very big lots of heat pipes there this thing is massive and this is chunky this is a big cooler it's also coming with the asus max connect uh, copper heat spreader for better heat transfer from the gpu itself to the heat sink it has their wind blade design fans for better airflow uh yeah they look pretty good uh good size to them as well and it comes with their zero decibel technology basically what that is is these fans will turn off when the gpu is under 55 degrees celsius so that's good you don't have any fan noise when you're just doing casual things like browsing the web now it's also coming with auto extreme which is their fully automated production process they say that's better because there's no human error involved so less likely to get like a doa card or something like that it's coming with their 10 plus 2 phase super alloy power 2 so upgraded components there uh, all that means is that generally the card should be more reliable and you should get better overclocking out of it um, that is in theory though now it's also coming with their aura uh, sync rgb lighting and that just makes it look nice and pretty on the um, front back and sides so that's good um, you know if <laughs> you guys that love rgb um, yeah i mean it's good it means that you can match it with whatever your theme is for your rig whatever your lighting theme is so that's one of the best features of having an rgb graphics card especially a color neutral one like this now let's look around and talk about the uh, power so it just takes two 8-pin power connectors at the top there, as I predicted. That's pretty solid. Uh, we see around the uh, back side of the card, we see uh, fan connectors there. I'm pretty sure that's what they are. Uh, that just allows you to sync your system fans with the uh, GPU itself rather than the CPU like they usually are. Up top there, we also get uh, two SLI fingers in case one of these graphics cards is not enough. You can add another one. And if we swing around to the rear I.O., we're seeing a somewhat standard uh, array. So up top there, that's just a DVI. Then down the bottom, you get uh, twin uh, HDMI ports. These will be HDMI 2.0 ports. Now, if you are wondering why there's two of them, uh, that's for the guys doing our virtual reality. They, they like having two of those. And then we get two uh, display ports. That will be display port 1.4. Um, and that'll be what you guys will mostly be wanting to use with your uh, 4K displays or your high refresh rate 1440p uh, monitors. You'll be wanting to use the display port. So that's all very good and well. And uh, as I said before, we will be doing a showdown with this guy against the uh, Titan XP. It's actually in my rig still right now. So this one will be very interesting. Um, the Titan XP has more CUDA cores. It's basically it's more of everything, really. Um, but not by a hell of a lot. The 1080 Ti, on the other hand, is a non-reference model. This has got upgraded components, all the other stuff, higher clock speeds. It's definitely going to have the clock speed advantage. So I think it's going to be very close. But um, yeah, from my predictions, I think the Titan XP will still win, but it'll be very, very close. But I'd love to know what you guys think. So in the comment section down below, uh, let me know which card do you think will win. Will it be the uh, Founders Edition model Titan XP or this non-reference Strix um, ROG 1080 Ti. Which one do you think will win? Now I also got, I uh, want to let you guys know uh, that I'll put a link to my Twitter page and the top of the description down below. Uh, go over there and follow me if you want. I post updates on there and you'll kind of know what content is going to be coming out on the channel. Uh, I thank you guys for watching this video. I'm sorry that things have been a little slow lately. I've been trying my best um, to get over this and get back into it. And I've got some X299 content right around the corner. So definitely subscribe for that. I thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time.